Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be comparing two different entry-level microcontrollers. On the right you'll see we have the Raspberry Pi Zero from the Raspberry Pi Foundation and on the left we have the Odroid C Zero from Hard Kernel. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero has a list price of five dollars uh, but it's somewhat hard to come by whereas the Odroid C Zero has a twenty-five dollar list price and it's fairly easy to come by. Uh, it wouldn't seem at those price points that these two boards would compete with each other but they actually do. You get a lot for that twenty dollars extra on the hard kernel board here. We'll go over that in a minute, but first I want to go over what boards, or what these boards have in common. Uh, they both have USB host, although on the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero it is a micro USB, so it's USB on the go. Uh, so you need a USB OTG cable. On the Odroid C Zero, you get an unpopulated uh, USB 2 uh, port times two. So you get two USB outs, but the port is not populated by default um, as you get the board. They both have HDMI out. On the Odroid C0, it is a standard size. On the Raspberry Pi Zero, it is mini. They both have micro SD connectors. Uh, you can see this one here on the Raspberry Pi Zero. You've got to actually flip the Odroid and see uh, there is the micro SD there. Um, they both have a 40-pin GPIO header here and here, and the, uh, the header is quasi-compatible on the C0 with the Raspberry Pi. Of course, the Raspberry Pi Zero is going to be 100% compatible with the Raspberry Pi architecture. Um, that pretty much ends where these boards are similar, although they both are multitasking boards that are going to run a system on chip that is ARM hard float based. Um, so the operating systems in the programming environment are also very similar. Uh, the hardware differences start to kind of take over here and we'll go over those next. Uh, that covers what these boards have in common. Now let's go over what's different on each of these boards. Though both of them are ARM-based systems and both run their own version of Linux, uh, and it's very similar programming for each environment, uh, there are some notable differences. First, the system on chip here on the Raspberry Pi Zero is a single core system on chip. Um, it's running at a gigahertz and has 500 megs RAM uh, about, uh, whereas the system on chip here on the C0 is a quad core system on chip running at 1.5 gigahertz and it has a full gigabyte of RAM so it really blows the Pi Zero out of the water uh, for $25 versus $5 it's pretty easy to start to see where the value comes in on this it's still much cheaper than the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 uh, but does seem to exceed it in power and is better probably for some applications um, in addition the Raspberry Pi Zero has the proprietary camera cable to be able to hook a Raspberry Pi camera to. Uh, that's really, really very nice for a lot of applications and uh, for, for cheaper uses and for uses where uh, you've got to take some pictures or display pictures. And the Raspberry Pi Zero may actually be a better alternative. It also has here on these two little pins that are next to the 40 pin header uh, reset capability and then also RCA out or television out capability built into it. So that's that's really nice and that's something that um, the Pi Zero has that the C Zero doesn't. Now as far as powering each of them, the Pi Zero is going to be powered from a micro USB connector here, uh, whereas the C Zero is powered from a two and a half millimeter barrel connector here. They both take five volts. Uh, the power supplies are different and you'll need a power supply either way. It's an add-on that doesn't come with these boards. Um, Heat sinks also don't come with the boards. For the Raspberry Pi Zero, I like to use these little copper heat sinks. Uh, they cost about 50 cents to a dollar a piece, depending on where you get them. Um, for the C Zero, they make a heat sink that you can get from Hard Kernel. It costs about three dollars, and it actually clicks right in and has a sticker on there uh, that you can use as well. Now, in addition, there is an add-on kit that you can get from Hard Kernel for the C Zero that is all this stuff, and these are. All the connectors, we've got USB connectors, uh, pins here for the GPIO, there's an infrared hookup, there's a hookup here for the serial, um, so there's some good stuff in that connector kit, and I would highly recommend grabbing that anytime you grab one of these C-Zeros. Continuing on uh, here, I'd like to go ahead and flip over the board here so you can see one other thing about the 
C0 that's actually kind of neat. Uh, right here on the back you can see there's a little chip here. That's actually an add-on uh, memory module, EMMC flash memory, that clicks in there. And so this is 8 gigabytes that's on there. And I've got Ubuntu installed on that. And so what that does is it boots and runs a lot quicker because the I.O. speed of this EMMC is much faster than the micro SD that's right there. Uh, so that's one nice thing that the C0 offers that all the Odroid boards in fact seem to offer uh, that I like a lot. And I tend to buy one of the little chips when every time I get one of these things. One more thing that's worth pointing out here are these two connectors uh, here and here. Now this one is for a real-time clock battery uh, and that's right the C0 does have a real-time clock uh, which the Pi Zero doesn't so that's one really really nice thing that allows you to uh, perhaps use this for real-time uh, thing real-time use cases that the Pi Zero might not be suitable for. Uh, over here this connector is for a normal uh, LiPo battery, uh, 3.6, 3.7 volts, and it actually does have a charge controller, both step up and step down, to run the entire system on chip and to recharge the battery from this 2.5 millimeter barrel connector. So this C0 has almost everything that's required uh, to run off a battery except for the battery itself. Uh, so that's one more consideration that might push you towards the C0. In conclusion, I'd just say that both of these boards are really nice and that each one has some features that might make it better suited than the other for particular applications. On the Pi Zero side, we've got the small size and low price point, which makes it really, really nice for data logging and capture, especially in remote situations where you might not get the unit back. Um, in addition, the Pi Camera connector and the TV out make it very well suited for anything where you're going to capture an image and show it to the user, perhaps overlay data on it or modify it in some way. Uh, so that brings a lot of use cases into the fold for the Pi Zero. The C0, on the other hand, is better suited for use cases where you need more horsepower than the Pi Zero is capable of, um, or you need some of the features that are available on the C0. Those features include the charge controller and battery connector to be able to run on battery power, uh, real-time clock for robot control or things like that. Infrared uh, is, a, is another option that's available here on the C0, um, and then it's got an on-off switch as well. One other thing about the C0, to flip it over again, is this EMMC uh, speeds up the C0 dramatically uh, over accessing the SD card to run all the operating system stuff. And then the last thing I'm going to mention about this Odroid is that uh, it does run Android as well. It's an older version of Android. It's in the 4, not, uh, not 5 or 6. We're not getting Marshmallow with it, but if you're going to develop something to run an Android, uh, the C0 is going to definitely be a better option than the Raspberry Pi Zero. Other than that, they're both great boards. I really enjoy them a lot, and, uh, and I have use cases for both of them. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and have a great day.